and welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. Today we're here to take a look at one of the brand new Sony Dream Machines that is actually an AM FM clock radio but it's got a couple of advantages over other clock radios and that's what kind of intrigued me. First and foremost as you can see it's got a nice big beautiful display that is actually rotating through pictures so it becomes a digital picture frame. And of course you can uh, move the, move the uh, time further out of the way so that you can see and enjoy more of your pictures. Or you can have your uh, time nice and large and date so that you can see it. However, uh, AM, FM, clock, radio, digital picture frame wasn't really intriguing enough until I actually saw this. And that is an iPod dock or an iPhone dock. So now you've got an AM FM clock radio with internal memory for music and video and a digital picture frame and an iPod music player that can also be set to wake up from your alarm from that as well as play your music and your videos on the bigger screen. That's what got me excited about this product. But I got to tell you right off the bat, um, where I'm starting to feel that this product may fall a little short is the user interface. And I'll explain some of the things that kind of boggled my mind when I first started working with this. First and foremost, when I got it, there was this big huge sticker right about there on the display. And it basically walks you through the steps of how to deactivate demo mode. And I'm thinking, well, if demo mode is one of those things that you kind of, you know, it would be in demo mode like if it was in the store on display. I can't think of anyone that's going to want it in demo mode right off the bat. So wouldn't it have been smarter to say in the manual if you want to turn on demo mode, here are the steps? Well, you get the idea. So I went through the steps, turned off demo mode, and got going. Now it's got a series of buttons here, and I'm not going to walk you through every single button and every single feature, but just know that it's got dual alarms, so if it's you and maybe a loved one and you wake up at different times or you want two different alarms for different t things, you can set them individually. On the back, this is where you get to the internal memory or using your external memory. So for example, um, you can plug in either a USB cable from your computer or a thumb drive. You can also plug in an SD card, and of course it's a Sony device, so it accepts memory sticks as well. And it has built in one gigabyte of or memory so that you can copy things from those cards or from your computer directly onto it. So as you can see, I don't have anything plugged in the back, but on the uh, display, we're actually looking at my photos. So I basically took a thumb drive, I exported, my, I exported about 30 images out of Lightroom, into 800 by 800 format because they didn't need to be any larger than that. And when I mean 800 by 800, I mean 800, no bigger than 800 wide, no bigger than 800 tall. So these are all landscape images, so they were all 800 wide. Now, once I uh, populated the memory or the um, thumb drive, I plugged it in, I went through the menu, and I just said copy from the thumb drive onto the internal memory. It was smart enough to let me choose which photos to pick. I didn't have any weird naming conventions or anything like that. They were all just standard JPEGs, and that worked perfectly. Then I went to the menu, which, by the way, if we hit the uh, home button here, it's got a pretty detailed menu. So you can get to the music that's in st stored internally, the video that's stored internally, your background photos that you can set, the radio, the iPod, iPhone connection, your import command, uh, fun wake up because you can wake up to different things including um, nature sounds, the alarm settings, the clock settings, and the general settings. Now, the next thing of course I wanted to test out was the iPod dock. And the iPod dock slides in and out, you press the button, and it kind of ejects out halfway and you pull it the rest of the way, but one of the things that kind of bugs me about this is that there's no lock. It pulls out, but you know, it, it'll easily slide in halfway or slide out. So I just thought it was weird that when it comes out, it doesn't stay in place unless, it, unless you don't touch it. Now, it is a standard universal dock connector, so any of your dock inserts um, from your iPods or iPhones should fit in here just perfectly. And that way you can just go ahead and put your iPod or iPhone in. 
Now that's the next thing. Let's go ahead and uh, fire up my iPhone over here. I'm going to just go ahead, and I'm already in the iPod app, or if you were on an iPod shuffle, or I'm, I'm sorry, an iPod on, <laughs> if you were on iPod Touch, you would also fire up the music or video. So I'm just going to go ahead and dock it. And um, I heard the beep, so it will charge, this is an iPhone 3GS, so it will charge the latest and greatest uh, iPods and iPhones. Now, here's the thing that kind of threw me, is if I start playing the music from here, nothing happens. I mean, it will start playing on the iPod, but I won't actually hear anything until I actually go into the home menu, go over to the iPod iPhone, and actually tell it that I want music or video, and then it will start controlling the uh, iPhone. Now, I can uh, advance to the next song, and by the way, I can turn this up. So just hearing a little jazz here coming out of the built-in speakers. So that all works as you would expect. Now you still have control over here to pick a different song if you want and then that song will start playing. So you can control it in either direction. Now I'm going to go back, 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 and it just will keep going back till I get to whatever I want. Uh, on the iPhone itself. But I'm going to hit, uh, actually I'm going to hit home. Let's go home here. And now I want to switch over to video. So I'll go back to the iPod iPhone, switch over to video. And it really doesn't know what video is <laughs> until I tell it. So let's, uh, let's actually scroll up here. Now I could navigate down as well, but it just takes longer. So I'm just going to go ahead and scroll up until I find something I want to play. So let's go ahead and play one of my podcasts. And as you can see, the podcast is playing from the iPhone on the big screen here. So you will see your videos on a nice widescreen display. Pretty cool device. Um, I do recommend this if you're looking for that kind of cool combination of digital picture frame, AM, FM radio for like your bedroom, um, alarms, and of course the ability to dock your iPhone at night and um, have it charge, or your iPod and have it charge. So that's all pretty cool, and by the way, if you are playing music, here, let's go back to the home button here, and we'll switch over, we'll switch back over to music, which I kind of wish it would leave it where you last left off instead of me having to go over each time. And now I've got to actually tell it over here that I want music. So let me go back to my playlist. And we'll do dinner jazz here. We'll just do a shuffle. And now it's playing music. But if I hit the display, I can actually see my photos, slideshow playing in the background while the music's playing at the same time. So that's kind of what this is all about. You get to see your digital images, your digital video, hear your music, hear your, or watch your videos, all at the same time on one device. That's it for this review of the Sony Dream Machine uh, iPod Clock Radio. And it's got a weird, long, complicated name, which I'll share more information on the blog as, to, as, to, as far as where to get it and pricing and all that. So, terrywhite.com slash techblog. Thanks for watching.